Uh, now, in the clip we showed when we first came, had you come out, uh, your brother's in there. Your brother's one of the co-stars. Yes, film. yes, my brother Paul, I, the 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 David Lee Roth of the group, right. as we mentioned. Yes, uh, yeah, Paul got to be in it, and he plays he plays uh, he plays Carl Glatzel. He plays Have you father. guys ever uh, been in a film uh, before? We actually did do one other movie together called Big Stone Gap, but this was a this was a this was a great deal, you know, for for him to be in the movie, and he auditioned totally on his own. I had nothing to do with his audition, you know. Once it got to a point, I was like, <laughs> that's my brother. <laughs> um, and then, yeah, it was awesome. I mean, you know, a, as you know, regardless of how a movie does, you know, your, your, your movie is defined by the experience you have. So for yeah. me, you know, I had this, this house down in Atlanta when we shot it and uh, having him there for a couple months was we hadn't lived together and, you know, since we were kids. So it was awesome. Uh, now, a lot of times these uh, horror movies are all special effects and they're not particularly scary on yeah, set. This is true. But, you know, this was, uh, I, this was from the second film where you had a, oh. a wonderful, this isn't genuine, this is a person. Yeah. Obviously in makeup, Javier. but this yeah. seemed like it would be actually be terrifying in real time. No, of, and I've done a few of them. Of, of all the horror movies that I've done, working with Javier on that, on that scene in particular, uh, we, we finished a take and I said, that's the scariest thing that I've ever done. Because <laughs> usually, again, it's all done technically, yeah, but, but, the mean, way that he, but the way that he can move, and he, and he shot this whole sequence um, backwards. It's a true story. And he shot it backwards, and then we played it, played it forwards, but it looks like it's done digitally and it's just not. So it, it, it probably wasn't as scary to, to the audience as it was to me being in the room watching it. <laughs> terrifying, totally terrifying. Uh, I, it does strike me that your kids are the age where they might want to engage in horror movies like this. Have yeah. they seen these films? Do they like them? <laughs> they have, they, they have. They, they love them and I feel like a terrible parent every time <laughs> they right. watch them. Uh, because my 11 year old who's who loves it, who's fascinated by it, you know, but we're always like, God, please don't wake up and have a nightmare because then I'm just gonna it feel like It seems the like that's the, the yeah. technically the age where it would be okay to watch a movie like it, that. It, it, it gets there. It gets there. I mean, he's all, they're also, you know, they've grown up on sets, so they'll still, you know, they're, they're demystified in one sense because they see it all happening. But yet, when it's still put together, for them, there's still that wonderful child imagination. Are, is there stuff that you've done that they're just flat out bored by? And if so, do they ever tell you? Or are they good? Are they good kids that they're like, that was another A plus dad? No, they, I, 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 uh, yeah, I don't know if I get that. I mean, right. it's a teenager's like, no, it's good. It's good, dad. It's really good. You know? um, yeah, no, they're, they're, they're super supportive. They love coming to, to all the sets. Is, was like Aquaman for them a fun set to be in? I would imagine. Aquaman was cool because we shot, we shot the first one in Australia. So for them it right. was, but, it, but when you talk about Aquaman in Australia, they're not talking about going to set. They're talking about the beach and everything else. So for <laughs> right. me, it's like, yeah, dad's work. You're inside all day. It's in a stage. When yeah. you went to, uh, you mentioned that you went and saw uh, the screening of this, uh, the new movie. Yeah. Were people aware that you were there? Was no. Okay. No, we totally surprised them. Oh, but then you did reveal. Yes. Gotcha. Yes. Ta-da. Thank God, because my fear was like, I'd go, hey, and they'd go, who are you? <laughs> you wait till the end of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> so terrible. Uh, no, but you know, it was it was awesome because that was the, the opening night. Uh, and of course, I, I said, I'm gonna see a show of hands. How many people have seen all seven films? This was being the seventh, and so many hands went up. But what was cool is, I swear to you, about 80% of that audience, it was their first time in a theater since the pandemic. So to me, yes, I want you to see the movie, but just to see how people are coming back to the movies was such a huge, huge deal. For because me. it's also, uh, you can see it outside. Yeah, you can see it at home on HBO Max. Right. right. So that really, I think, speaks to the value of, of that yeah, collective it does. experience going to movies. It really, really does. Cool. I mean, right now we can see it on any format that works for us, but you know, th there's there's nothing like going to the movies. Yeah. Well, thanks, man, for yeah. making the time, being here in person. Always really appreciate it. Congrats on the film. Thanks, buddy. The Conjuring, The Devil Made Me Do It is in theaters and on HBO Max now.